Looking for extra advantage on your crypto trading? You can capitalize on our 5% off offer on Binance. You'll get a 5% discount every trade that you make on Binance. All you gotta do is follow the link in the description and sign up to enjoy this wonderful offer. XRP is not a stranger to the headlines, and in most cases it gets there for the wrong reasons. Not that it's a notorious crypto tied to the mafia or the mob or anything, it just seems like a case of whatever is going to be great must first pass through the fire. That is exactly what the current travails of XRP seem like. A journey to be refined and purified to bring out its true value. No one can say they've seen the best of XRP yet, as it still holds so much potential than we can ever fathom. Reading all the articles on XRP still wouldn't do justice to the world of good XRP can do to your finances. While things got a little bit tight for XRP in the last month of last year, it made for quite the testing period for XRP hodlers and traders alike. There were high hopes hanging on the coin's utility protocols as well as its viability for regular transactions from day to day. By the time the year started, we were riddled with appalling news about just how things are going to get for XRP. This led to more than a little wavering in the hopes of XRP hodlers at large, and many had to dump the crypto just to be safe. This was even more prominent in the US, where more than 30 exchanges delisted or halted the trading of XRP. Even some of the toughest XRP hodlers turned tail and ran by swapping the coin for other cryptos as the exchanges hurried to shut down all trading activities of XRP. But we're already seeing a new light that could ultimately change the direction of the view of people about XRP. Welcome back to Make Money Online, and today we're looking through some important XRP news you need to know, especially if you're looking to hodl the coin. We'll also be looking at the latest XRP news and latest XRP price predictions. If you're watching a video on this channel for the very first time, please don't forget to leave us a like, leave us a comment, and subscribe to the channel while clicking on that notification bell to get notified every time we upload a new video on this channel. Every XRP enthusiast is a friend of the online tabloids, blogs, and crypto news sites that offer up-to-date information on the crypto's price trend and the events surrounding it. It's not surprising as that's been the case since the onset of the lawsuit against Ripple as charged by the SEC. Ripple is caught up in quite the mangle that's seen a lot of predictions come out to damn the future of XRP. The price dip that followed was torturous and you can imagine just how an XRP hodler could feel. Particularly, someone who has been anticipating the movement of the coin onto more favorable price levels. But it was debilitating to see the price being kept down by a case that sent it off track. XRP as a security? You've got to be kidding. What's more alarming was the timing of the entire case. Former SEC Chair John Clayton sanctioned the filing of the lawsuit right about the time he was to leave office. This would later make it all seem so sketchy. This follows the statement by the SEC declaring Bitcoin and Ethereum as non-securities. Recently, that would be a factor that would inspire a revival among XRP hodlers who've been patiently waiting for the slightest hint of light to show in the case. Many were prepared to go as far as the SEC lawsuit would last before deciding what to do with their holdings. The latest news carried information about a question posed at the hearing, which was directed at the SEC about the particulars of Bitcoin and Ethereum as securities. The SEC declared those documents as classified, which would make it a pretty suspicious thing. Obviously, nothing can be so confidential. The good news first erupted when in reply to the question asked by the presiding judge, the SEC's counsel's response would cause a major movement like we haven't seen in months in the XRP community, especially on social media. The question asked was about whether everyone holding and trading XRP was holding or selling illegal securities. The SEC replied saying that the case was only targeted at Ripple and their employees who had a hand in its ICO. Obviously, it's the activity that the SEC might be suspecting, as it would pertain to an illegal security. But XRP itself, since it started functioning and rising in value, has always been a currency that holds value in exchange and in utility. Taking a look at the operations of the SEC, it almost seems like a scuffle with Ripple for some sort of remuneration that would ultimately be beneficial to the SEC or some unknown entity acting behind the scenes. The notion would occur to you if you stand to consider if the case could be more personal than it is being portrayed to be. Conspiracy theorists have suggested that there could be a grand plan in the background meant to restrict XRP just so that another crypto could rise. It's been said that there could be a link with the rise in Bitcoin and Ethereum, coupled with the timing of the lawsuit, especially since Bitcoin and Ethereum have been declared as non-securities. Therefore, Bitcoin and Ethereum continue to thrive while XRP was kept on the downswing by the nefarious act of enforcement initiated by the SEC. 
In all cases, the SEC hasn't had it easy so far with Ripple fighting both tooth and nail to prove that the grounds of the charges would not only affect Ripple and XRP, but should also affect Bitcoin as well as Ethereum. The argument of the SEC in exonerating Bitcoin was that it has no known attachments to any organization to which its ICO can be traced. But does it still mean that an individual or a group of individuals did not collectively use Bitcoin to gather funds at its ICO under the name Satoshi Nakamoto? The difference is that the origin of XRP can be traced back to Ripple. There is not much to say about the Ethereum network's involvement in the trading of Ether right from the scratch, and one of their board members openly admitted that the company held an initial coin offering at the launch of the crypto to raise funds for projects on the Ethereum network. Unless the SEC has been paid off, we don't see any reason why XRP should be the only one getting dragged in the mud over this. Neither should it have to suffer through this at all if the SEC would take a look at the flimsy facts they've gathered. For this case to turn out the way the SEC wants it to go, they'd end up suing Ethereum Network for the same charges as well as going after the activities of Bitcoin itself if they actually can. The presiding judge has issued an enforcement court order for the SEC to lift the classified limitation on these so-called documents that could prove that Bitcoin and Ethereum are indeed non-securities as deemed by the SEC. What we expect is that when the documents actually come to light, they will be compared strictly with the ones presented by the SEC. The judge would look at the similarities between the reasons why either Bitcoin or Ethereum have been declared as non-securities and why XRP is being mentioned as a security. The likely turnout is the halt of a general lawsuit and Ripple as well as XRP will be exonerated of all charges. Following such an outcome, XRP could be set for a wild ride, as would any crypto that overcomes such an uphill challenge. We could see the coin's price boost up on some nitro towards the $1 mark from its current levels. Lately, the price has breached the resistance that hovered above it for the majority of the last two months. The price has held consistently within the 40 to 45 cents range and occasionally hit around 47 cents, which often spiraled into predictions that the coin could ultimately reach half a dollar. The 20th of March saw the coin actually test the bounds of this price trend. It eluded the strong resistance at 50 cents and has held for some days at around 53 cents on the intraday charts and it's occasionally looked like it would make a run for another resistance established at 65 cents, which could bring it dangerously close to transcending the 70 cents mark, which it attained in the latter part of 2020 before the lawsuit ever came to light. Before the next surgical wave of XRP happens, many more people are expected to turn towards XRP for respite, thus we would welcome them back into the fold of XRP hodlers. The push for XRP to be relisted by the exchanges that once halted its trade on their platforms is gaining momentum after having been a top trend on social media for the last few days. And we're looking for the first of many exchanges that would actually relist XRP. It could actually roll out as a chain reaction, especially if Coinbase gets its feet back in the mix. It's sure that other exchanges would follow suit and we can't wait to see that happen. The surge that could result from that mass enlistment can provide the huge boost that we've been looking forward to for months. That alone could push the price to $1, and if more favorable news pops out of the lawsuit, the price could surpass the likes of ADA as it surges above its all-time high above $3. We could see its price at $4 or $5, maybe even $10 if it's not so much of a wild expectation. But this is crypto, so we never say never. The bulls can't be wrong on this one. XRP hodlers can look forward to that as a result, and we can only hope that a massive dump doesn't happen at those dreamy levels so we can have enough support on which the coin can bounce up from towards another hopeful height. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and click on that notification bell so you get updates whenever we post a new video. So what other exciting news have you heard about XRP that you can share with us? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to check out our previous videos on XRP as well. See you next time.